Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm in a different location and I have a very special guest on my channel. This is Trish. Hello. Uh, and we did our makeup together over on her channel. Yes. So I'm going to link that down below. So go and check that out. Yeah, my channel is Green Beauty Trish. Yes, I wasn't you... sure if it was still so high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I changed I knew it. you changed it. Yeah. A couple people have changed things. Right. So I'll have everything of hers, her Instagram, her YouTube link down below. Subscribe to her. She's amazing. She has some great <laughs> content over there. And today I've had a request that you guys wanted me to talk about my nighttime routine. So we're going to talk about our nighttime winter routine. Yes, so definitely winter focused here yes, yeah although it's, it's yeah it's although changing it's, i know we are going to be nice. getting into spring soon <laughs> yeah probably in a month or so mm -hmm. but i still want to share this with you yeah and for sure because we have some great products um yeah let's just roll it okay so my first cleanse what i've been using lately i do do double cleansing and i use an oil cleanser usually first the one i've been using lately is the vapor organic beauty organic makeup remover um, I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand. So it's a nice light oil. Smell it? Oh yeah, go for it. And it's just a very light scent. It's sunflower oil based. Oh yeah, that's just it's, very light. I, it yeah. seems like it's probably unscented. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's sun, nice. I, sunflower oil I know is its base and I just have really enjoyed it for removing my mm -hmm. makeup. So I rub this in everywhere and then I use a warm washcloth just to, I guess, rub off all of my makeup <laughs> when I've used that. Mm -hmm. And then this looks really classy. <laughs> looks like I have an ounce or something. <laughs> um, this is my Osmia Black Clay Soap. So I was watching Dr. Sarah's stories and she talked about this soap on there. Mm -hmm. And something I just want to share with you guys, because it actually isn't a charcoal soap. It is black clay based and that black clay comes from the Dead Sea. Now in the Dead Sea, you never open your eyes, right? Because it's very <laughs> salty. So I was using this on my eyes and it burned like crazy. So this mm. is not one to use on your eyes because it does burn because it does have those sea salts in there. But using it on my skin, I really like yeah. it. It's balanced. I've used me. it before, it's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a great product. And then I'll do tone and then you can- Yeah, okay. do your toner. Okay, and then the toner I've been using a little bit is the Herbal Dynamics Beauty Rosewater Calming Face Toner. So this is a newer to me product. I got it from Indie Beauty Expo and I've just been messing with it a little bit. They're a brand where everything's under $30. That's amazing. And I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Their ingredients are super good. They have hyaluronic in this, aloe, uh, chamomile, witch hazel, just some great stuff. So and I think- It's nice that there's hyaluronic acid in there. Yeah. That's great. Exactly, especially for the price point. All right, so I, in terms of, um, Cleansers, I don't have one out, but I, I've really been enjoying the Live Botanical Cleansing oh, Oil. It's okay. really, really nice, has a beautiful scent of lemon balm and rinses okay. off very effectively. So that's been a big favorite for me for winter. Um, and then usually, you know, I will use a toner. I actually today, for the daytime, I use the Andalou toner, the one okay. that comes in the purple bottle. Okay. I really love that. And so then after cleansing, toner, I usually go in with some kind of a serum and I have been really enjoying this Michelle um, Remarkable Retinol Serum. Mm -hmm. And that's what it looks like. I don't think I've talked about it on my channel yet. I'm not exactly sure, but this is like one of those emulsion type products. So mm -hmm. it's got the hydrators and also the moisturizers. Nice. It feels really beautiful. Actually, this was a recommendation from CJ. He loves okay. this. Um, so I, I really have been enjoying this, especially for the winter winter because it just feels like a very soothing retinol product. So I haven't gotten any dryness, any irritation, and it's also very well priced. You can usually find, I think they carry it at Derm Store and Derm Store almost always has 20% off. They always do. So this like... has a really nice price point. I actually got mine on sale at Whole Foods and Whole Foods is nice because you can also return things if they mm -hmm. don't work out for you. So this has been just a really nice wintertime serum that I have really been enjoying. Yeah. Okay. So the serum I've been using, this is the Anne Marie, their wild fruit serum. So they did send this to me. Um, but I really, why they sent it to me is I had a sample of it and I talked about how much I loved it. And mm -hmm. then they surprise sent it to oh, me. Oh, that's so, so nice. It's a very, Do you mind if I try a little oh, yeah. of it? It's a very light aloe oh, yeah. based. I obviously I love an mm -hmm. aloe glycerin base. So this is kind of also one of those, like a little bit of an emulsion, yeah, you know, exactly. soaks in really nicely. It's a yeah. beautiful product. Oh, that's so great. 
It adds so much hydration. I'll say even using it, I, I don't like to make claims. You guys know that I'm, <laughs> I just am not like, oh my gosh, every, my skin is mm -hmm. so amazing. But it has helped with some brightness on my face, especially coming in and out of winter, especially in the mm -hmm. Bay Area. Some days it'll be really cold and then some days it's 60. So right. this has really helped a lot with that. Um, and then the I've been using this on top. This is my Fit Glow Skin Cloud Comfort Cream. Oh yeah, I'd be kind of curious about that one too. So I'll put it on the back of my hand. It's just this cream. It's a it's heavier, but it's not the heaviest I've tried. Mm -hmm. I don't love the scent, mm -hmm. but I've been mm -hmm. using it because I got it in a Beauty Heroes box last year. This is how much skincare I have, guys, where I'm like, <laughs> right. I like, I have stuff from last year. Yeah. So I finally opened this this winter and I've been using it. I do like it enough, but I don't think it's a repurchase necessarily mm -hmm. for me um, because it, Pickle is a pricier brand. Yeah, and I really don't think is. their, their skincare is that active, that amazing mm -hmm. for me to spend that much money on it. Yeah. So and I know. And the scent is a little interesting, it's isn't it? It almost it? smells like a sh like what you would think a shampoo would smell like. Yes. <laughs> so I, anyway. I, I've enjoyed it, but mm -hmm. it's just not a repurchase. It's kind yeah. of one of those products. Right. Well, I um, I have been loving the new Earthwise Beauty Black Locust Firming Concentrate. This nice. too, it, it's actually an oil serum, but the texture really does, go ahead and put some on the back of your hand. The texture really does feel like an emulsion because it absorbs so nicely. And I, I really love using Ooh. this on nights. I know, very potent. You can see the golden color on her hand there. Oh. Um, this has been really wonderful on nights where I feel like maybe I've used too many actives. I want to take a break from actives. Maybe I overmasked or just overdid something in general that I will just use uh, a toner that, you know, maybe just like has hyaluronic acid in it, but no vitamin C or retin-A or anything like, mm -hmm. or I keep saying retin-A in our conversation, retinol. <laughs> um, and then this is really nice just over that. So just really, really simple, but just like such a beautiful yeah. formula. And um, I just really love it. So it's been making my skin feel great uh, in the winter time. That really absorbed in. I know, like, isn't that's that nice? really nice. Yeah, I, I think like it's really one. different than any yeah. other oil serum that I have just because it absorbs so nicely. And I think that um, it would also be really pretty underneath makeup. Yeah. But I typically just, I'm relegating it to the nighttime so I don't go through it too fast. <laughs> I get that. I yeah. have products like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then an oil that I've just started using lately, this is their essence, but it's more, it's oil-based essence, right? So this has rose hip in it, which I really like my skin. Really yeah, likes. I do too. Whoopsies. Here, I've got a towel here for you. We're all good. <laughs> just got in my hair. Okay. <laughs> so you can try it on the back of your yeah. if you'd like. This is just a really nice light oil. It's another one that it's kind of like that earthwise where it really does mm, blend you can in smell my a rose skin. Hip, yeah. So I've enjoyed this oil. It's a restorative night treatment. Do I have I seen I feel like with oils, I don't see turnover or anything special mm -hmm. from an oil. Yeah. But I do like this uh serum essence oil type thing. I just think it's nice and I like a nice oil in the winter over my moisturizer. Some people do it the opposite way. I do moisturizer and oil. Just mm -hmm. that's what I prefer. Yeah. yeah. So and I think yeah. we were talking about this before off camera, just like having realistic expectations about yeah, your products. products. And I think with a lot of these it's just how it makes your skin feel. Is it making it feel more nurtured, more moisturized? Yeah. You know, does it give you a pretty glow? Do you yeah. feel, does your skin feel good when you wake up in the morning? But it's not like gonna magically erase all your wrinkles or get rid of that stubborn, you know, whatever, your under -eye hyperpigmentation. Circles. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so my next one, let's see. Oh, this is a new product for me. This is the Cora. Oh. Yeah, this is the Cora Organics Balm. I think they call it the Noni Glow Balm. Yeah, Noni Glow Face Balm. And then you just roll it up. I don't want to roll it up too much because it's actually pretty soft. It's softer than I thought it was going to be. But I'm here, if you, yeah, go ahead and smell it. Um, and it smells, uh, oh, it's kind of soft. got, yeah, it's very soft which is kind of surprising since it's the winter. It's usually in the mm. summertime when things get really soft and melty. But um, anyway, I it, the scent is kind of like, it's kind of grassy and rosy at the mm -hmm. same time. I think it's a really nice scent, but it does have a distinct scent. They do carry this at Sephora. So if you're curious about 
the smell before you buy it. You can easily try it there. But I've just been like dabbing it straight from the stick onto my face after I've completed everything. So even on top of an oil, if I feel like I need extra moisture or on top of a cream, if I want extra moisture to kind of seal everything in. And, um, and I, I've really been noticing kind of the difference in the morning of just like we were saying, still feels uh, soft, moisturized, um, I'm not like some radiant glowy angel or something when I wake up in the morning, but I do feel like it has really, um, it really does have a good effect in terms of overnight moisturization. Okay, yeah, cool. I really, really like it a lot. And I've also been using it on my lips as a lip balm. Oh, cool. I know. And so very, obviously very travel friendly. And I, I just, I, this has been a huge um, favorite of mine for the winter time. That's awesome. Yeah, new fave. It's mm -hmm. a really cool thing. Yeah. Okay, so this is my new under eye treatment because this is the area I've noticed the most signs of aging mm -hmm. or pre-aging. I wouldn't, know, I don't even know how to term yeah, that. Yeah, she's correctly. probably half my age. <laughs> I'm 27. So okay, I'm well, I'll, say, I'll let you know. I've got a, I've got a, a milestone birthday coming up in July. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> she looks amazing though. Her skin, gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Like gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, so I'm using the Indie Lee, or I'm not using, but I have been using the Indie Lee. This is their Eye Wake and Eye Serum. So mm, I, think a I actually bit have been curious about that one. Okay, so a little bit has squeezed out, but I've okay, been I'll loving go really this. Gentle. I was so surprised by how much I've enjoyed this. So it's oh, a that really is a little, nice texture. It's, it's a, light. Yeah, it's a very light texture. Mm -hmm. I don't like a heavy cream under my eyes. I've realized mm -hmm. that it just doesn't do well for me. I, a serum penetrates, I feel, a yeah. little bit better. I like oils too. Yeah, and that's mm -hmm. where this guy comes in. So during the day, I put this in my daytime routine, I believe. Um, and I do use this during the day and at night. And then at nighttime, I've been using this Olive and M Eye Serum mm, over I haven't seen it. that one before. This is an indie brand. It was an indie BDX mm -hmm. found. And I think they're trying to get into Target. Oh, interesting. So it's a very light serum and it has, I think it has hyaluronic and cucumber. Hmm. So it's just a very interesting. Yeah, it's nice. If you want to feel it on the back of my hand. Mm -hmm. very oh yeah, it's got product. a nice texture to it. Yeah. So, so the brand is Olive and M. Yes. Okay. And they use olive oil also as their base. Yeah. Like, and olive oil is amazing for your skin. Yeah. I mean, I know it sounds kind of like a basic ingredient, yeah. but it's really good for your skin and it's really high in vitamin E. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very, I've been, but this is my little eye duo that I've been using and I've really enjoyed it. Have I seen like, oh my gosh, I just, I look <laughs> tan or something, no. But mm -hmm. it's it's really helping with hydration and a little bit with under eye circles. I will say it's my, I've gone through some climate change since we since I flew mm -hmm. here. So I've had a, a little bit of skin issues under my eyes today, but. Well, usually, they look great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I wanna talk about this Moisture Renew Mask from January Labs. And I am on a huge lactic acid kick these days. And this has lactic acid in it. And I, I really do have to say that I was completely um, blown away by the results of this mask. I thought it was just gonna be a nice moisturizer, um, you know, that I was gonna like it. I didn't know I was actually gonna love it as much as I do. Oh, wow. So I use this as an overnight mask um, on those nights where I feel like I really do want some serious hydration, moisturization. The lactic acid is just such a wonderful AHA that's really gentle, but also um, hydrates your skin. So it's it's just a fantastic ingredient. So I just, I'm loving lactic acid these days. So I highly recommend this. January Labs also has a brightening toner that's really good as well that I'm really liking a lot. But I think specifically for the winter, this Moisture uh, Renew Mask has been, I keep, I'm a little off to the side here, um, has been a great find. Yeah. That's awesome. I think that sounds like it'd be a great plain mask too. If you yes. Do long mm -hmm. flights, like and that. I'm not one, I'm sorry, I'm just not going to put a fit, like what are the, the sheet masks on my, oh, on no. my face when I travel? I'm no. just, I'm not about that, but I agree. This would be perfect for an airplane because you could actually, yeah, it's small enough that you could put it in your carry on bag yeah. and put it on your skin and nobody would notice. You yeah, know? exactly. I'm the mm -hmm. same way. I've, I've seen it before on a flight. <laughs> Have you really oh, seen yeah. somebody I mean, with I a sheet in mask? Asia. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that, makes sense for those really yeah. long flights yeah. yeah so i've seen some interesting things on mm -hmm. flights <laughs>
One of the masks I've been enjoying for more hydration is Anne Marie sent this as well. It's a sample, but I just really liked it. I usually don't talk this much about like things I get sent, mm -hmm. but I just really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So it's their illuminating pearl mask. So it's honey based actually. Mm, that's always a great ingredient. So I feel like it kind of might be a replacement for when I'm done with my honey mud mask. It has a lot of the same ingredients in it, but it's obviously mm -hmm. done in a different composition. And yeah, and I kind of like that it's a honey mask, but it looks like it's cream. Yeah, it's creamy. Exactly. So yeah, I just I'll feel have to like check that out. it's a little, it's cheaper than the honey mud. So mm -hmm. I love my honey mud, but that's just such an expensive product yeah. that I want to try something else instead of that next mm -hmm. time. Like it would be a repurchase, but in like a year or two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so I'm done with the face like skincare. I do have a lip product to talk about though, and this is the Henne Organics Lip Mask. This did come in a Art of Organics slash Clean Beauty Box. Yeah. <laughs> They've changed their name to Clean Beauty Box, speaking of name changes. And this is just such a gorgeous lip balm. I use it as a lip balm. I know it's called a mask, but just look at those beautiful plant oils in there, that golden color. Oh, it's just so it. lovely. Um, and that smells not like, not like anything I've smelled before. I know it's really amazing. pretty. And so I, I use it overnight, so I guess I could call it an overnight lip mask, but I, I really have been enjoying this a lot, especially for the winter. Obviously lips are getting kind of dry and chapped and yeah. this has been really amazing to use. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So my last product I've been using, and this is kind of a preview of something that I'm going to be doing a video <laughs> over. So I've been using the Juice Beauty oh, I've Green used Apple that. Peel Sensitive. Yeah, that's a good one. And it's a good, I like to use anything glycolic, any retinols in the winter time mm -hmm. into the spring because I don't use them in the summer and the fall. I'm very odd about that. Mm -hmm. I'm very seasonal about my yeah. skincare. Yeah, no, that's great. So I've been using this for two weeks now consistently, meaning two to three times a week. And I'm trying to do a video and see how mm -hmm. it makes Can my I skin. Can I smell it? Yeah. See if it's still the same formula? Yeah. <laughs> how my skin reacts to it over time. I'd use this it when was... it first came out as well for acne. Yeah, I think it's probably the same. Yeah, so I do like it so far and I, do, I have seen a little bit of turnover from it. Mm -hmm. So we'll see in the future, but that's just a little sneak peek. And do you feel like it's helped with um, some of the blemishes and stuff? I feel like it's helped mm -hmm. with blemishes and I have quite a bit of hyperpigmentation mm -hmm. and I feel like it has really helped to make that go away. So yeah, yeah. yeah it's a nice no, that's I, I It's been a long time since I've had that, but I, I loved it. I used to yeah. use that a lot. It's a good product and it's, it's not uber expensive, but right. it's not uber cheap. It's just like mm -hmm. one of those middle prestige brands. Yeah, and it's another one of those that you can find on sale. Yeah. Yeah, Juice Beauty, I think <laughs> is, I, I think you can get that on Derm Store as well. They have it at Ulta, they have it at mm -hmm. uh, Derm Store, they have yeah. it at Whole Foods. So any of those mm -hmm. brands always do a 20% off at some point. Yeah, at some point, so. yeah. <laughs> if you're not in a huge hurry to get yeah. it. All right, the last one I have to talk about here is a body product, and definitely give this a try. This is the Siam C's uh, Qualm Rock Body Serum. They do call it, yeah, they call it a body serum. And this was also, uh, this was in a box walla box that I was sent. And this is just such a gorgeous body product. And you would think that like a light serum would be more of a summery product, which I'm sure I'm going to be enjoying this in the summer warm months as well. But it also has been fantastic for the winter because it just moisturizes so beautifully. And for me, sticky or heavy, exactly. I can feel and for me, like the, these kind, these emulsion type products for the skin work really well on my skin. Like yeah. sometimes with just straight up body oil, you know, I really like to mix it with a lotion and kind of create my own emulsion because then I feel like it absorbs mm -hmm. better. So, and the scent is just really beautiful. It's got that jasmine sambac that's just so kind of like mm. sultry and tropical. And there's also, interestingly enough, mustard. I think it's mustard seed oil is in there. So it okay. kind of like, it doesn't smell like mustard, but it kind of grounds it, kind of gives it this like light little I spicy. That. I don't know. It's just not a straight up jasmine. It's really special and unique. So that's this has been a wonderful find, um, especially for the winter time. I've been liking that yeah. brand. I have mm -hmm. their Yen toner. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like that's going to be, this is going to be a brand that gets out there and becomes one of the bigger brands, kind of like May Lindstrom. Like, I yeah, feel like exactly. I think it's really, -like brand. she uses, Supadra is the, the owner or, you know, the creator and she's, um, she's really lovely as well. So mm -hmm. she's a nice person to feel like you're supporting. <laughs> yeah, awesome.
so. So that's all I've got here. Alrighty. Well guys, thank you so much for checking out this video and my channel. So again, I'll have everything Trish related linked <laughs> down below and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world. Bye.